Okay, there's there's one more section on the board over here that's called scenes um, that uh, you may see, and I'm gonna explain it. You're probably not gonna use it a ton, but um, basically what it does is it can save uh, presets for the whole board across the board. So applications of this would be if, if we got multiple bands playing on one night, which would not be us, but you know if a venue was doing that, you could save um, a scene for the first band, and you could have all these inputs being meaning one thing. You know the guitars coming in here, basses here, whatever, whatever. Everything's EQ'd and just the way you want it. And then you, uh, for band two, you get up and you start over. Uh, this might be a guitar, a guitar over here now and a bass over there, and you set it all the way up. But if you save a scene for band one, you can just scroll back to that um, whenever you want to. So band one comes on stage, you go to their scene. Band two comes up, you go to their scene. Everything changes, it's all set up for them. You can do that a hundred times. There's a hundred of them in here. Um, for us, we're not gonna do that. Um, we're going to use it essentially as a, as a fail safe. So uh, to get to the scenes menu, you push the view button. It's the only way to do it. Um, and it'll show you this here. And you'll see something that says gathering master. So what it is, is I've saved this where we are now um, as the gathering master. So regardless of what happens, if you really just feel like you've screwed something up, all of a sudden there's no sounds coming out of this. You push buttons, you didn't know what they did, and now you don't remember how to fix it. Um, you can always get back to here, which is relatively safe, okay, where everything's programmed correctly or close anyway, and, um, and you can just get back to it. So to do that, um, to load a scene, you just select with this, this uh, knob over here, and you pick the one you want, and you click go. So if I were to mess all this up and just solo, and things are just all messed up and muted, and all these scribble scripts could be, could be changed and all over the place, then when I click go and then click yes, it's just going to put it back to safety, nice and safe. Um, so uh, everything's good. Um, if you accidentally load a scene, like I just did a few minutes ago, that is not the one you think, and you feel like you've ruined everything, and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't save the last scene, something, something weird happened. I, I loaded this thinking it was current, and it wasn't, it was like from weeks ago. And so, or we've changed everything since then. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go back and do that all. Over again, there's this undo button, and you can hit push undo, and it'll go back to before you loaded the last scene, which just saved my butt. So um, that's good. You can we can create up to 100. We will never touch that, but um, you can load them or save them to a USB drive um, for safekeeping and all that stuff. So um, that scenes uh, we we're, we're going to use it very um, sparingly. Same with snippets. Um, they're kind of cool. We we use them over on the assigned channel. If you want to see how we use one snippet. Um, you can see how we switch back and forth between a virtual sound check on the assign video if you're interested. But if not, you'll never need to know about it, so don't even worry.